Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Legendary Hardcore Mode with Colors Fade. This is Episode 5, Part 2 of Bleak Falls Barrow with my trusty companion Feindel who's doing a hell of a job helping tank these Draugr. I've already managed to die a couple of times, which is something I was really hoping wouldn't happen. Hey, it's an ancient Nordic greatsword, which turns out to be better than my silly iron great sword, so that's an upgrade. I love upgrades. I'm gonna put that in slot one, which which is always where I put my great sword on the quick save. I mean in the quick bar. I'm gonna do a quick save here because we're still in Playing on Legendary has been kind of fun, though. I'm, I haven't had this, uh... I haven't had this amount of, of death <laughs> in a long, long time in Skyrim. My lantern from Wearable Lanterns is turned off automatically when I sneak, which I love. I get a free pot shot at this guy. Got rid of him. Get this chest. Oh yeah, another potion of minor stamina. This is gonna be good. This is gonna help when we have to fight the big dragger at the end of this. Because he's not gonna be easy. That's for darn sure. And now we get to one of my favorite ingredients in the game. Glowing mushroom. And the reason for that is because you can use it to make a fortified destruction potion. And later on, when I am becoming the full battle mage, I will, you will see me doing a lot more with destruction, particularly lightning, and a lot less with the two-hander. And that is when fortified destruction potions are going to come in really handy, especially against dragons. And I guess while I'm mining here, I'll take a minute to talk about some more mods that I have installed. I have about three mods installed that make dragons way harder. Um, one of them is Serial's Dragon mod, which goes to great lengths to uh, add a hate system to the dragons. And dragon mod that basically doubles their hit points so that's going to make dragon fights take a lot longer make them harder to kill and I'm not even sure what the third dragon mod I have does um, oh I have one of Bellyache's dragon HD replacer which adds a lot more different kinds of dragons with different kinds of attacks and they're gorgeous dragons so it just adds a lot of variety to the dragons in Skyrim and makes some of them really hard. As far as they don't all just breathe fire and ice, some of them breathe lightning and some of them have some other kinds of different attacks. This bozo... I'm gonna grab these mushrooms first. things I like about Skyrim in the early part of the game is every turn off my lantern for a second. Every little thing seems like it matters, like every potion, every septum, every gold piece. It all seems like it it matters a lot. And later on in the game I'm just skipping over all that stuff because I have hordes of money and my arm is really powerful. Barbarian arm. 
weight of four worth a value of eighty five. Yeah, I'm taking that. I'm always looking for things that have good uh, weight to value ratio, especially in the early game. In the late game, it's pretty obvious. You just start grabbing everything that's ebony and hauling with you. Ebony Warhammer. <laughs> you know, it's worth a ton. It's 1,700 gold or something like that. Alright, fade no. Alright, come on. In the final battle, when I'm gonna need it, I'll be able to change my health, although there's a lot left to go here, I think. It's been a while since I've done Bleak Falls Barrel. My last playthrough took over 315 hours, I think. And I did a single playthrough to get all the achievements all in one shot, so... Thirsty, moderately hungry, and fatigued. That's not good. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, his ancient Nordic bow is better than my, my long bow, so we'll do that. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is Ancient Nordic Bow. I'm gonna favorite that and put that in the second slot where I always put that kind of stuff. Okay. 
this whole thing is set up for you to hit these and launch them on fire, but that first guy is always too close. And you kind of got to take care of him before you can do anything else. Oh, yeah. The claw room. Claw door. If I could remember. Any of these, but I can't, so I have to look every time. So there's a bear and a butterfly and an owl. Which I think just means you move all these two. <laughs> I think the first door is just move them all to a bear and a butterfly and an owl. Dismay. Hmm. That'll be a disenchant. Ring of minor lock picking. And another <laughs> iron war axe of dismay. Okay. Um and helmets are I don't care about. Friends of poison poison. Well, that wasn't too bad. That went better than I thought. Vainhall's still alive, so that was alright. Got through the first major hurdle. Didn't die. I like that.
Orcish Warhammer, 26 weight for 180. We're going straight to town with that, so I'm gonna take it. All these flowers, I'm definitely taking. Because I need them. For alchemy, and then what time is it? It's 8.49 p.m. Oh, okay. One thing I might do is level up. Stamina. Health. Uh, alchemy. I'm going to save a perk point for right now. Now I got to get back to town in the dark. Or we can sit and chop wood and make camp. Which may be the other thing I do. I haven't decided yet. I know that my character is hungry and thirsty, so... Yeah, it's dark and we got a thunder... I know, snowstorm. So, let's see here. I know what I want to do. I don't want to waste any more... oil, so I'm going to grab this torch. I'm going to grab this enchanter's potion. It's always laying. Frostfall and I need, but man, right about now it's like, mm -hmm. I don't really want to be out in these elements. It's going to be cold, but I do want this corundum. So this right here with the thunder and the rain and all this jazz. This is very much a mod right here. This is true storms combined with uh, vivid weathers. And right here there's a there's a chest in the water right there underneath that buried place. Oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry about that. There's no way to edit that out of the video that I know of. I'm drinking a Diet Coke right here, and it's just... It's making me uh, burpy. I'm, I really apologize for that. There's always something out here, which I'm not a fan of. I, kn I know better. Something's gonna come out of the jungle and get me. So what I'm gonna do is... I'm out of Dang it, too late. Oh, this is good though. Yeah. I need more of those. Oh, son of a. Alright, that's not good. <laughs> I am landing the level up at just the right time. Okay. Uh, what to spend it on? I'm going to have to spend on destruction and other things soon, and enchanting soon, and smithing soon. Skill, resourcefulness. Oh, harvest wood. Chop dead wood. Oh, I need a woodcutter's axe. I thought I picked one up. Oh, <laughs> I did. 
didn't. Okay. I gotta grab that one that's over by the, uh, the mill. I know there's one there. Oh, and I'm drenched. See, it'd take me probably an hour to gather enough wood to make a fire. Yeah, you are soaking wet. You need to get to a fire. Well, that's gonna happen. Right quick. Gotta get to town. I guess I should quick save because I don't know what else is gonna jump out of the woodwork at me here. Oh, and if you're looking at the road down below and you're like, uh, light posts, lamp posts, that's the lanterns of Skyrim. All the roads are dotted with them. I love it. That's another reason. I love playing with mods. There's just all these nice little touches here. And so if you're playing with, like I am, with mods that make night darker and dungeons dark and all stuff, then you need more light sources, and light sources become more important. So things like mage light and candle light, and torches and wearable lanterns and roadside lanterns, all that stuff just makes the game better. Makes it more immersive. Makes it so you can play with things like darker dungeons. Otherwise, there's really just not a lot of advantage. It doesn't feel like a reward to be a Khajiit or a vampire because why have Night Eye if there's no use for it? The dungeons just aren't dark enough for it to be that big of a deal. So I really like the darker dungeons where it feels like, okay, there's an advantage now to being a Khajiit or there's an advantage to being a vampire. A lot of people are like, oh, there's just not that many advantages to being a vampire. Well, poison and disease immunity is nice, and if you're the sneaky type, the bonus 25% to sneak is nice, but... I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Courier here already. Let's see. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Uh-oh. Got to go. Riches beyond imagining. Oh! I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the breach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember... Riches beyond imagining. Cassia. This is the letter for the Forgotten City, which is a great, great mod. Just a quest mod, extra content uh, that was done. I really liked it. I've, I've played through it one time and I didn't even get to do everything in it that I wanted to. Uh, it's a neat mod. It, they probably shouldn't send you that letter until after you're the officially the Dragonborn. Until after you've been a high, ro high Roth guy and you actually do have a reputation, but that's cool the way it is. So I can dig that. It's late at night. Oh, Alvor and Alvor's house. We are we are on our own now. And I don't think I can get into Feindal's house. Well, I can. I have to steal the key from him. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? Key to Fane Dolls House. Alright. So, to conclude this episode, we're gonna go to Fane Dolls House. We're gonna have a little something to eat and drink, and then uh, we're gonna crash. Leave this is his house. Now, I have had the game wig out on me sometimes when I go in here and he'll be like, I need to ask you to leave, even though he's my partner in crime here. Oh yeah, so you can take this stuff, that's good. So we're all on the same team. We're buddies. Awesome. Okay. Oh, and he's got some extra pelts. Wicked. Well, I feel completely warm. I'm gonna try it off. Gonna eat some food. Green apple. Little apple cabbage stew. Water skin. Hey. Another red apple. Hey. 
So this is what I'm going to call an end to it. And I really do appreciate everybody watching. Just want to save. And uh, as always, if you have questions at all for me, want to know something or want to know about a specific mod or anything, just go ahead and ask and I will answer in comment sections in subsequent videos. Or I'll answer them in the video themselves, if I can think about it. Adios, everyone.